Hello, today we're going to read about Moses and the people of Israel in the wilderness. God wants the people of Israel to trust him. They must learn about God's ways. He will teach them what is good and what is bad. He will teach them right and wrong. He will teach them how he loves them and forgives them. Then he will lead them. They will have a new home. I wonder, will the people learn God's ways? The people of Israel came to the wilderness of sin, and the people of Israel grumbled. They spoke against Moses and Aaron. Would that we had died in the land of Egypt, but you have brought us into the, this wilderness to kill us with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I am about to rain bread from heaven for you. The people shall go out and gather a portion every day. I will test them. I want to see if they will walk in my law or not. So Moses and Aaron said to the people, At evening you shall know that it was the Lord who brought you out of Egypt. In the evening quail came and covered the camp. The people caught the quail to eat them, and in the morning dew lay around the camp, and when the dew had dried up, there was a fine flake-like thing. It was like frost on the ground. The people said to one another, what is it? Here's the people. And Moses said to them, it is bread. The Lord has given this to you to eat. The Lord has commanded, gather of it, each one of you, as much as he can eat. And the people of Israel did so. They gathered, some more, some less. And Moses said to them, Let no one leave any of the bread over until the morning. But they did not listen to Moses. Some left part of it till the morning, and it had worms in it. The bread stank, and Moses was angry with them. Now the people of Israel called its name manna. It was like seed, it was white, the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. The people of Israel ate the manna forty years. They ate it till they came to the land of Canaan. What problem did the people have? What did God give them to help? Now let's pray. Bow your head, close your eyes, you can put your hands together like this. Dear God, you gave food and water to your people. You give me everything I need, too, including Jesus as my Savior. Amen. See you next time.